We got the heat time here about four or five years ago. I bought the heat time system five years ago. We are using heat time for the last five years. And we have the collars now for five years. We started off with a small amount of collars, first around 70 or 80 collars to see how they worked. But as time went on, we were pleased with them, so we eventually built it up now to about 230 or 40 collars. We are um, in a, sp a split hair of 20% autumn, 80% spring. We're very compact in the springtime and a lot of focus is on grass and getting as much out of grass as possible, even for the autumn herd. We wanted to get as many cows as possible calving in February because that's the greatest gain we can get, financially speaking, to have the cows out grazing the maximum number of days of the year. We were tail painting previous, before we got the collars, and we were having a certain success. We wanted to up the game, so we decided we'd go for it. The change in our submission rates was very noticeable and we've been building on that ever since. We're above 90% submitted now in three weeks and up against 100% in six weeks, like 100% last year and 98% this year. So we know that we're getting every single cow. Like The system was um, very easy to install. Putting the collars on the cows is the hardest part. Um, to use the system, it's very simple. It's just that we have a box in the milking parlour and uh, we just go in there and check the activity on the cows every day. So if the graph is high, or the activity in the numerical box is high. We know that cow is on heat that day. Plus we have the 21 day cycle so we can see when that cow was on heat before. It is monitoring the cows that's coming in heat, but it lets you know which cows does not come in heat. And it also lets you know which cows has irregular heat. And you'd be amazed the number of cows that come in heat at two o'clock in the morning. And you, you, you come in in the morning, you're, you're milking there and the light flashes and it says on heat seven hours ago. And I've seen cows that were standing the night before and weren't on it and they wouldn't show it till that morning and they said, even though they were standing, it said they didn't come in heat until six or seven hours after I'd seen them standing. If I was relying on tail painting, I'd have served them that morning. Because of the colours, I didn't serve them till that evening. So you're picking out every cow, silent heat, cows with real low heat, everything. The computer will pick it up with the drafting as well. I just key it into the computer every morning when I come out in the evening to I the cows, which cows have to draft. Press the buttons on the computer and away you go, milk away and they'll be there when you're finished. We can do that online as well, so if there's no one around, we can put uh, the cows in to the drafting system and then th the cows will be there ready for the eye man that day. So we have the HR24 app from Heat Time and then we have our drafting system apps as well. So we work the two together. On the app, there is the health side of things, so to tell us if the activity is very low on that day. So for some reason, the cow might, she won't be a bullying, but the, the, the cow might be sick or something else, so we check that. Also on the app then, you have your graph, you have the number of days the cows and calf, the last time she was AI'd. So we've all that information on the phone. So it's roughly the same as the box on the wall, but the app just, you have it in your hand and it's a lot more clearer and it's easier to input in the AI dates and the calving dates. The system is very reliable. It's as accurate a system as you can get. It's not 100% accurate, but it's definitely 95% accurate. We've cut our workload down immensely. We're saving a lot of time every hour a day, and that's usually at your busiest time. You now have more time to concentrate on other jobs. So I suppose the heat time has meant that we get a bit of a work-life balance as well still, that we're not constantly having to monitor the cows at a time when it's busy. In labour alone, it's about a thousand euros, but the, the real gain for me is, is not in the labour saving, it's, it's in the cows getting in calf and to be able to get the cows at the right time. I suppose if you go by the Chagas figures, every missed teat is worth 220 euro per cow, so I suppose it's very important that every cow is picked up. And the facts here on this farm are showing that within six weeks, we're, we're catching 100% of the cows. If you're not happy with your conception rates and you want to try and up your game, well then, it's well worth looking into changing. There is a cost to it, but there is a savings too, because the gain to be made from having cows calving in February is, it's the biggest gain you can get. Going back to the old system would be difficult to see at the moment. Like once you get something like that in, the collar is working there for you every day, seven days of the week. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to go back, no. <laughs> no way. No way, Jose, no. <laughs>